I will go. Everybody in this room will know how it go. You know what I mean? But Ahead of a potential clash between them, Ben Davis has fired warnings at Shakur Stevenson when they met at a presser. Stevenson, of course, he's now at 135 after all that stuff. And then Devin Haney writes, so why people even talk like contrary to what Terence Crawford had predicted, Shakur Stevenson melted at the sight of Tank, and it's not expected to be different in the ring either due to somebody talking about it, bro, shut up and fight me if that's the case. Me for the very first time, Ben Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson are unitedly giving boxing fans something to be happy about as things are looking real between the both of them after they clashed in a presser in preparation for their potential clash. So what about Frank Martin? Do you feel like he's elite? No, no, like, come on, bro. As they clashed against each other, Ben Davis had the better at Shakur Stevenson as he fired repeated verbal shots at Shakur Stevenson and even threatened to hurt him. I guess it'd be good for the sport if we fight. Davis picked up his latest win at the weekend with another huge knockout over Frank Martin to successfully make another defense of his World Boxing Association lightweight title a number of potential showdowns lay in wait but promoter Bob Arum has confirmed contender Lomachenko is in talks to face Tank next he's a tremendous fighter he has a tough fight coming up July 6th former former world champion Pauli Malik Naji has insisted that Davis's fight with LMA is too late and he should be fighting Stevenson who is in his physical prime he told ProBox TV now I want to see Davis and Stevenson that's my issue that's my problem with boxing Boxing July 6th, but certainly oh, the oh, tank Alenko fight has made they make fights when it's convenient for them. When there's an advantage, Davis looked horrific against Frank Martin. I was very impressed with the performance, but Shakur Stevenson is a different proposition than anybody else. It's 10 when Shakur is in there because Shakur is the tall, rangy softball with a lot more IQ and a lot more versatility with his style. But here's the thing Tang Davis can fight a guy who they picked up all from the din or he knocks him out. Oh, it's great because he knocked them out, you know what I mean, I'd love to see the fight, I'm saying this, because I want to see the fight, I think Davis is very qualified for that fight, do I edge Shakur, I've always edged Shakur, I think Davis is very qualified for that fight, he looks terrific, you know what I mean, but Shakur will fight a dangerous guy who's a puncher beat him a little bit less impressively, he's a thinker, it's not just the twitch and the power, it's also his understanding there, he knows how to set things up, I want to see two get it on, not later, I want to see them get it on now in their prime, but Shakur Stevenson is the most cerebral fighter in boxing today. He's the best fighter Davis has faced criticism in the past for his selection of opponents, but silenced much of it with a big knockout win-win over Ryan Garcia in April 2023. He is currently on a 30-fight win streak and is considered arguably one of the biggest pay-per-view draws in boxing. Lomachenko holds the International Boxing Federation title and a unification bout would make sense for Davis, but Stevenson currently holds the World Boxing Council title. If, if, if he's looked at in the correct way, he will be the number one for a pawn fighter in the world. One day this guy is the best pure boxer in the sport fans will be hoping that if Davis is to beat the Ukrainian in his planned clash, that the Stevenson fight will then be made for the three belts. Stevenson has already announced his own return, making a defense of his belt on July 6th against Artem Hurutunian self-proclaimed killer care is on a fine unbeaten run of his own having successfully graduated from the super featherweight division after unifying the World Boxing Organization and World Boxing Council world titles Tank Davis is now welcome to shot against his domestic rival next and they had a fierce clash where Dan Davis threatened to hurt Shakur Stevenson. It is quite shocking that Ben Davis could absolutely get the better of Shakur at a public event like he's been doing to all of his other opponents. This came after Terence Bud Crawford had earlier vouched for Shakur Stevenson to never act as cold and fearful as Frank Martin and oppressor Terence Bud Crawford had posted a tweet on X saying, sitting here watching the weigh-ins thinking to myself, Shakur never, and I mean never lets Tank play with him, like music. But however Tank surprisingly played with him just like that, amidst several other verbal exchanges Tank Davis quip. I will hurt you, I will finish you before it even starts, it's over before it begins, guys. Some of your 135 contemporaries have a lot to say these days. A Stevenson Pan Davis sounded so assured like bringing back memories of a famous interview where he had violently trolled Shakur Stevenson's style of boxing. Why do people talk like he's the best? He hasn't even fought at 135 yet, he didn't even have power at 126, 39. He's good, okay, how can you all I say is okay, how can you stop people that can actually hit no matter all that boxing you're going to get hit, what do you do when you get hit of course he's now at 135 after all that stuff and then Devin Hay writes so why people even talk like it was in a similar manner that Gun Davis had hit back at Shakur Stevenson in one of their most recent feuds where Tank trolled Shakur Stevenson over their famous sparring Devin Haney's rival Ryan Garcia publicly posted the sparring video on his YouTube channel which appeared to show Haney being rocked by Tank Haney appeared to be on the back foot during the entire session 
and Adrienne Broner, who was present, also stepped in and separated the action briefly. Shakur Stevenson expressed shock at what he saw in that whooping after seeing the leaked sparring footage of Jivan Davis smashing Devin Haney on social media. Shakur, a 26 year old boxer from the United States, shared it on social media his response to the footage that had been leaked, showing Devin Haney being beaten by Van Davis during battle following one of his worst games of the season against Edwin Dio Santos in November. Tank took Stevenson's remark as a challenge and promptly sent the New Jersey native a terrifying message. After watching the leaked footage of Tank Davis working over Haney during a 2017 sparring session, the undefeated World Boxing Council lightweight champion Shakur appeared shocked and said he had never received such a severe punishment in training. Tank said in response to his tweet that he would know what's up to him implying that in the event of a fight, he would receive the same treatment. Music, never in my life had I taken punishment like that by any fighter good lord said Shakur in a post on X. It's unclear from Shakur's response to the video whether he is expressing fear towards Tank or if he is only recognizing what he saw while watching it. In any case, it appears that Tank saw it as a challenge because he responded with a mysterious message you know what's up to reply Davis to Shakur's post that Shakur Stevenson had earlier hinting that Shakur had suffered the same fate when they sparred together talking about the sparring video Shakur Stevenson had earlier rubbish claims that he was hurt in sparring by lightweight rival Dan Tank Davis three times a week and we run a certain amount of miles it's just you putting in non-stop work many fans feel like the two American stars are on a collision course at 135 pounds if it plays out like that it won't be the first time, they tread punches, speaking to say cheese on sparing with Davis Stevenson. Detail what the session looked like of quiet gym at 2. 8 a.m. first time sparing again, after the Olympics it was like 2. In the morning it was on some 2 in the morning stuff we went like 20 minutes straight I want to say going on, at the point in time, that he just felt the way he felt, and he went on the air and said something funny but he had like 3 or 4 people with him, and I had just Africa Richardson Hitchens riding with me I don't remember if he had somebody recording I didn't record it though for sure he said that he would have kept the work inside the 4 walls of the gym and tank not broadcast the details, claiming that he cracked Stevenson sparing, was kept in the gym, and then, I don't know what was going on at the point of time, that he just felt what he felt, and he went on the air and said something funny said something funny but now, I think Spar still should stay in the gym I think if I'm like if I'm being honest about that spar with me and then it was like good good work given that his partner has spoken of what went down Stevenson cut his side across he was respectful when talking about the 2017 session, but feels he got the better of the Baltimore boxer. If I'm being honest about that sparring session between me and him, it was good work Two smart fighters, I feel like if it was a fight I won, but it was good work he made me think I made him think that's how I looked at it, that was before I turned pro, I was an amateur at that time, that was before his world title fight with Osik Pedraza the one that put him on. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.